I'm going to use Frigate NVR to fix my lawn. Oh, yep, you heard it right. I'm using a camera to fix my lawn. Let's get started. So let's talk about the problem. This is a section of my lawn, and while it looks green in the camera, that's probably due to color correcting or lack thereof. But barely up in this section right here, you can see there's a little bit of a brown area. My hypothesis is that this area, which doesn't have much grass at all, uh, even though the camera shows something different, it is shadowed too long during the day in order for the grass to grow. Now I have this grass that's called hybrid Bermuda, or so I'm told I have hybrid Bermuda. Bermuda. It is supposed to be both shade tolerant as well as uh, drought tolerant but I don't think it likes the shade at all. So if I don't get enough sun in a certain area, and I've seen this in other parts of my lawn as well, the grass doesn't grow like it's supposed to. Well, I wanna figure out whether or not that area is getting a lot of sun or just getting a lot of shade. Now I know there are better ways to do this and better scientific methods to determine the amount of sun in a given area. That's okay. I'm just gonna play around with my cameras because it's there, it's easy to set up, and it's something else new to play with that I haven't really messed with before. So what do we need to do this? Obviously, the first thing you need is a camera. Now, if you're doing this to look at your lawn, fine, but if you're just gonna do what I'm gonna do, which is to take time-lapse snapshots or snapshots of an area, that's something else entirely. But you need a camera nonetheless. You need Frigate NVR, which is what I'm running here, and in Home Assistant, you need the latest Home Assistant or latest or at least version five of the Frigate integration. So if I look for my integrations, here's Frigate. I'm currently on version 5.8.0 and I have all of my cameras from Frigate showing up in here. So you need to make sure your cameras are configured properly and that you're running the latest Home Assistant Frigate integration. And of course you need Home Assistant. So all of this runs through Home Assistant. So that's a basic thing, a camera, the Home Assistant install, the uh, Frigate in integration for Home Assistant and Frigate NVR itself. Now I'm running Frigate NVR on a different device. It's on a um, mini computer. It doesn't matter as long as you can talk to it from the Home Assistant integration. Now I have videos that talk about Frigate, how to set it up and other things related to Frigate itself. So if you are interested in that, go look at those videos, they're in my channel. But for today, we're going to go set up a simple automation. And I'm going to create a new automation. Let me find uh, my thing here. There we go. So create automation. This is going to be a new automation. So the first thing we want to do is add a trigger. And we're going to do this on a time and location basis and then a time pattern. I want to take a snapshot of that area every five minutes. And the way you do that is you just specify a slash five. And what it will show you up here is you have a trigger every five minutes of every hour. If I were to take a snapshot every minute, then it would be every minute of every hour. So I want to make sure it says trigger five minutes every hour. That's the simplest way to do this, to take a snapshot. And then you want to add an action. Now with the Frigate NVR, you get some, uh, some different actions. So I can just go ahead and search for camera, take snapshot. That's the simplest way to do that. You click on take snapshot, and then you wanna choose the camera that you're gonna take a snapshot with. In my case, it's gonna be this back porch camera. Now, if you don't have camera showing up in your list there, then something is not right with the way you have your integration set up. So make sure that you have your integration working properly and you have Frigate set up before you try this or you're gonna have problems. So clicking on the back porch gives me the back porch camera. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You have a file name that you wanna specify and there's different paths you can set this to. Uh, there is a config slash www folder on your Home Assistant instance where you can put it, you can put it in the slash media folder, which is where I'm gonna put it. And I wanna have a distinct file name for every snapshot that's taken. So I want a date timestamp on my file name. And I'm going to put that in a cam uh, snaps or camera snaps folder under my media folder. 
And then as soon as I start doing templating, which is what I'm about to do next, it's going to go from this nice UI into YAML only because the interface can't do um, templates. So let me change this because it needs to be Synology documents. And the reason I'm using Synology documents is I'm actually storing this on a file share that I've configured within Home Assistant. I'll show you that in just a second. So then I'm going to give it the um, camera snaps, I believe. Look at my notes, yep, camera snaps. And this is where uh, you will get into the templating issue. So as soon as I push this button here and I hit that, you'll see that it sees this now as a, as a template because I'm gonna put some values in here. And it says templates are not supported in the visual editor, so you're gonna have to do it this way uh, through YAML. Let me just copy all this in here so I don't have to watch me pay, uh, type it all. All right, so I've just created a basically a template showing uh, well, that will create the file name based on time and date. So the year, the month, the day, the hour, and the minute, and with a file type of JPEG. JPEG. So there we go. Every time this runs, it's going to run with that file name and it'll update the file name with the current timestamp. All right, so I know that the path I put in there just a minute ago works. However, I've changed it to a, a path that I know it's gonna generate an error because I wanna show you what happens. If I try to run this action now, and you should run this action just to test when you're all done to make sure it works, you're gonna see an error that says cannot write because there's no access to the path that I created, which is config cam snaps. The allow list external directories may need to be adjusted in configuration YAML. Now there's a directive in your configuration YAML. So if you look at this right here, I have these, I have under my home assistant block here, I have a, a thing called allow list external DIRs. And under those, I have these various directories, slash config, slash cam snapshots, slash config, slash dub dub dub, slash cam captures. And I have all these because I was playing around with it. I don't really need all those anymore but I left them in here for demonstration purposes. Then I have slash media. This, by allowing these external directories, it allows me to specify those locations and not have this error that you're seeing right here. So if you run into an error like this, you probably need to set your allow list external directory or external DIRS directive. So I'm gonna change this back to what it was before. So media, Synology documents, camera snaps, back porch, save that. When I run that, it should be fine. And it says action ran successfully down here. That means it's working okay. And I can go over to my directory where I have that. If we, if we look at that here, you'll see that I have a whole bunch of files here that are being stored on the directory. And I can just pull up one of these here. And you'll see that I have a snapshot. Now I can actually iterate through these snapshots and just keep going. Nothing changes overnight, obviously, other than it rained a little bit. So I can just keep going through these snapshots. You can take this into any of your software that you want to use for creating time lapses and do that. Anyway, you can see it's storing those on a five minute basis. You can tell from the time step here that we have all these files stored on the server throughout the day uh, at five minute intervals. So that's working properly. And that's all you have to do to set up these snapshots. You have a trigger of five minutes every hour and you have a location you want to put it. Now let me show you how I got that networking stuff set up. If you come over here to network storage, you see I have a Synology, a Synology documents, and the documents too. This is where I'm storing it because I added it as a network share. And so it's my Samba share under this IP address. And that's how I'm able to actually use that as a storage location. I wouldn't want to put all of these uh, files on an SD card on a Pi, for example, because you're writing to the Pi every five minutes, which may limit the lifetime of the SD card. It'll also fill it up. I don't want to put that on my HA Blue, which is what I'm running this on either, because it might fill it up. The thing about it is if you start this process and you start taking snapshots every five minutes, it doesn't clean those snapshots out. They are forever on there unless you write some sort of automation or something to go clean that directory out every once in a while. But if you put it on something like a NAS, at least you have some, uh, some space there in case you forget and it runs for a month or two and you've got tons of images, right? So that's why I have done that. And you just, to do that, you just create a network storage share, give it a name, uh, choose it as media, and then you can store those files on there as long as you want to, as long as you have space. The point is you need to make sure that your, um, your uh, what am I trying to say here? 
that the location that you set this to is the proper location for um, where you're going to store your images and where you can get to them later on. You can also get to it from the media folder, assuming everything is set up properly, the media folder. And then I can go to my media and I can go to Synology documents. And then I can go to cam snaps, which is, looks like it's case sensitive here. Camera snaps. And here's all my images as well. You can see a list here and you can pull up any of these images and look at them here as well. So that's creating snapshots within my uh, home assistant instance using Frigate NVR as well as the, um, the Frigate integration for home assistant. It's an interesting little concept. Um, like I said before, there's probably a thousand different ways to go look at the sun in a spot on the yard. I mean, there could be other reasons why the grass isn't growing in that spot also. I am not a green thumb by any means, but my guess is it's being shaded by the fence or a tree that's in that area. I just want to see what it looks like over time. You can also take these snapshots and I see a lot of people with weather stations, which I have one of, uploading snapshots to the weather service or whatever they feed to. And so you could take this and extend it to do something else like that. Or you could be, you could set up the record every minute to see wildlife activity or something. By the way, I do know in Frigate, there is the ability to create time lapses. So there is also an option in Frigate to, to do that. If I look at um, this particular camera, I'm trying to find out how I do that now. Oh yes. So if I do a history here, and I want to export a time range, I can do the last four hours or maybe even the last hour uh, back porch. And well, this is nothing there for the last hour, I guess. One thing that Frigate will also do, and this is a reason why maybe to do this, is if you have nothing going on and you're not recording a camera 24 seven, it won't create a, an export. So now it's going to create an export and I can go over here to the exports page and you'll see that there's going to be an export created. The point is you're not going to get a, a time lapse kind of thing in that case. I don't record that camera 24 seven. So without the, the snapshots that I'm creating, I'm going to miss a bunch of things unless there's activity out there all the time. I only record one or two of my cameras 24 seven to save on space. The other ones I don't need to record all the time. They're only recording when there's an event or something being detected. So that proves the point that the snapshots are better in this case for that camera than doing something related to a time lapse within Frigate directly. All right, I think that's gonna cover this video. Uh, a little different than what I normally do, but something I wanted to showcase because believe it or not, I do a lot of different things in Home Assistant. I do a lot of things within my home network. Uh, and one of these days I may show you some of the other things that I work on outside of Home Assistant. Uh, if you're interested, just leave me comments down below and I'll do that. If you want to see more of the other things that I do within my technology world here within my, my smart home, et cetera. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support that you provide through subscriptions, through Patreon, through memberships. It really is very helpful. Uh, I don't say it often enough. Uh, the stuff I do here would not be possible without y'all watching the videos and supporting what I do. So thank you. With that, we will see you on the next one.